Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and we're back to sit down videos. I have a few planned, a few that are coming up and I've got like quite a few like bits and pieces that are planned for the, the next few months and it also includes some wish bits and some Christmassy bits and other bits and the vlog. My jumper has chip on it. It's very warm now. I've had this on since like 11 o'clock and it is now half six and I'm really warm but look how cute it is. I'm, I've been at home all day so. So today's video as you can see by the title is what I learned by going to uni. So I and it's like life of a uni student who didn't stay at uni. I lived at home and I stayed here. I stayed here. I lived with my nan. Um, however I learned a lot going to uni and there's bits and pieces I regret and bits and pieces I don't regret. Um, what I did learn is that you need, unless you do like a really intense course, you're there less than no time, a, a year. I think in total I was there, I did three days a week and it was like two 12 week semesters and I was just like, less than half the year? No, just over, no, less than half the year. I was at uni and then the rest of the time I was supposed to be studying and things like that. What I do say to people that are looking at unis, look at your course and not just like the uni cause it changes, like completely changes. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm boiling. Um, but like you, yes you could go to Oxford or Cambridge but they may not have the best um, education curriculum or something like that. I did sociology and criminology at uni. Um, I graduated and I was very proud of myself that I graduated. I went through quite a bit mentally, quite a bit emotionally, but I did it. I completed it, completed the whole course. Um, what else? Um, do freshers. I wish I did all three freshers. I only did my first one and if I can find any pictures I will insert them so you can see what I look like at freshers. My hair was brown and I think it's brown and lilac. I think I had lilac streaks running through it. Um, but I really enjoyed freshers and I wish I did the second two years because I should have just gone and met more people. I kind of stayed in a little clique and that was it. Um, but I love the girls and something else I learned at uni is that you, I should, you should join clubs because then you'll meet people that aren't on your curriculum, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't live at uni so you don't get the experience of living in halls and things like that. So I didn't have a typical uni life, I kind of stayed at home, very rarely went out through the whole three years. Um, but I wish I didn't, I wish I went out with everyone, I wish I did more and everything like that. Something else I learned about going to uni is you pay nine grand and you do most of the work and that is what uni is, you do most of the work. Yes your lecturers will teach you bits and pieces, you will read off slides, you will have to do the rest of the work. My dissertation I did all on my own, like I had help from friends and stuff but like my, the idea and everything was all mine and I adored it and I loved doing my dissertation. It stressed the fuck out of me. And you can ask any anyone that's been with me for the past six months will tell you how much I stressed over my dissertation and it nearly killed me. Um, however I adored it. What I do say is look at your levels look at your GCSEs and everything and think of a uni course that you want to do. I never thought if you asked me like 10 years ago or asked me when I was Poppy's age because Poppy is 10. Poppy tells me she wants to be a vet or a fashion designer or a cake designer. I think it's cake designer at the moment but she changes her mind left right and centre and if you asked me at the beginning of school I wanted to be a forensic scientist. I then failed my science GCSEs. Oops. Um, but I still ended up with a science degree. I have a degree in science, but it's a social science, but it still classes as a proper science. And I'm just like, yes, I, I did that. I did that. Um, uni's not for everyone. And you learn that very quickly because 
the amount of people that dropped out by the time I had finished uni, it was unreal. So we started uni and my criminology class, it was like 250 of us. Um, so there was other classes put in, but my criminology class of a week, because I did two, I did one criminology, two sociology classes per week. So I had one le one crim lecture, two soc lectures. So my one, my two of them were my crim and soc lectures, and it was a massive group of us. And then there'd be a part of the curriculum the criminology lot wouldn't do. In the year, first year, two hundred and fifty of us. There was no space for any of us. Like literally, we were like in rows, and there'd be like two seats in the whole lecture hall. That was it get to year three last week of lectures and it's just empty there's like six of us there and you're just like i get that people were doing dissertation and everything but when you went to graduation i and i was in a class of 10 which was the crim and so slot and the amount of us that graduated was six 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 of us four had dropped out like i'm telling you now there must have been like six or seven at least days that i just went I'm not going in. I couldn't be able to go in. Um, but I still passed and still got first and still did all my essays on time. I hated essays, but I still did them all on time. Now, participate. Like, don't ever think something's a stupid question. And I say that about all school. Um, I learned more by asking stupid questions. And I was, and I'm going to make myself, uh, my head seem bigger is that I was very good at sociology. I did sociology as an A-level and I was very good at sociology and I remembered a lot. It, I think there was a class I hated and I ended up in a first with the exam because I knew all about SOS and I bullshitted my way through it and that is something I say about uni. You can bullshit your way through it like you can bullshit that you know things like you're supposed to read like 70 books and I think I read seven. <laughs> My dissertation was probably the most I've ever, ever actually revised and looked at and studied and everything like that. I say is you will know by the first semester if uni is for you or not. And I knew I wanted to finish and I knew that I could finish. That's the way I did. I know people that have dropped out and then gone back and everything like that. You can do it. Like, uni is an option. Because you pay for it and you have to pay it back, it is an option. I am now like 45 grand in debt because of uni. I have 30 years to pay it back. It's fine. Um, but I. I listened to something the other day and it says reverse engineer your future and that's what you should do. Think about what you want to do job wise and then reverse it if you want to go to uni. Uh, I can't think of anything. There's a lot that I wish I did, I, a lot more I wish I participated in and I wish that I was a bit more social, a bit of a loner is normal, you should be able to tell that I have like six friends um but yeah that's like bits and pieces you should know about uni and for someone that lived at home it, everyone was like ha oh, halls are so good and I never got to experience that and I know people that have stayed in halls that never ever met their dorm mates like I know people that I went to uni with and then there'd be a floor of like eight and they never met anyone on the floor and I was just like how have you done that like how have you lived with someone for a year and not known their names and things like that that is the end of today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you all soon bye